hey this is part 7 of becoming an expert in front end development note this point you will become an expert in front end development for sure by the end of this series in our previous tutorials we have seen what is this character what are this name attributes and what are this property attributes in a practical way let us see what is this http equivalent and what is this content type and why this content html or text or utf it is required here let us see everything in detail and in depth way let us try to understand this with a simple example suppose this is the server and this is where our website is hosted means all the resources like js files css files html files are present here now this is the browser and this is me who is requesting hey browser can you open amazon website now browser will use dns and it will request this server hey server can you send this website resources to me now the server will send these resources to the browser along with these resources it will specify the response headers here in this response headers it will send what is the content type means it is html or application json or what it is now along with this server will send what is the standard it has to use for encoding and decoding format that is utf8 or is411 or what it is now based on these things these response headers browser will render her page accordingly and displays that to the user now let us say this server is not sending this response headers now what happens now browser will check the html file what is sent by this server in that html file it will check for http equivalent attribute in that it will check what is the content type and what is the standard that is used for encoding and decoding and based on this sniffing it will find out this content type and standard and it will render our page according to these standards this is where the http equivalent whatever is specified in the html file is very helpful because if the server is not sending this we can have some alternative where we have specified this in the html file if you find this video helpful please comment helpful so that it will motivate me to create more videos like this